I received the letter. I received the letter. Um, well, I guess, I guess I could read it, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm going to read it. Okay, so this is um the... I got the letter on the 6th, so yesterday. I received the letter yesterday. He wrote it on the 1st. Now, there's some things in the letter that has already been established. Um, he does have money on his books now. But before he wrote it, they were giving me a hard time um, to approve me to be able to put money on his books. Okay, so if you hear him say, oh, I don't have money on my books, that's because um, the week that he wrote, I was in the process calling them, seeing why I wasn't able to um, add the money on his account. But he is good with the money. He does have money on his books. Um, and he wanted to share, he wanted everybody to share this on um, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, um, IG. So I'm pretty sure it's going to eventually be um, all over the place. And within probably what, next 30, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. So he says, Peace, Goddess. I love you deeply, Supreme Reflection. May this letter warm your soul. May every word find comfort in your heart and course throughout your, your veins with every breath that you take. I found myself constantly, I find myself in consistent agony because I love you more than I love myself. And you have been ripped away from me. You are and I am, you are me and I am you. So I do not mind loving you more than I love myself because when I love you, I love self. Not being able to see you was hard enough, but not being able to call you daily was like the knife in between my eyes. I do not know if you will get this letter, but I have faith that you will. So I shall pour out my heart to you in this letter because I do not know what the future holds for me. I know what I want, but only the divine will of the ancestors will manifest. So may the will of the Almighty God manifest, even if I do not agree with it. For I know that the ancestors know what is best. I do not sugarcoat anything, so I won't start now. I have to pour out my pain as, as I have no one to communicate with on this material plane. I have been in complete isolation for three uh, for 34 days now. So please keep that in mind while reading this letter. They are trying to break my soul and destroy my spirit. And they are torturing me because they are making me watch them do it. They could have killed me a long time ago, but that but that's too easy. As in any good torture tactics. It's much better to stab me than pour salt on the wound. The way I saw, uh, I'm sorry, the way, that way I suffer a slow, painful death. People have no clue what extreme isolation does to the mind. Yes, isolation does strengthen you and has strengthened me as well. But it also can be brutal, brutal under these conditions. I am inside a small room, no windows, only a metal gate as a window. I have a mattress, but it lays on top of concrete slab about four inches from the floor. Normally, you have a metal bed, which you, which you place your mattress on. I have been to the hole before. When I got in trouble before in other jails in the past. And even in the hole, you have a bed. They have a hole here and those inmates are sleeping on a bed. Keep in mind that the, those inmates have done something wrong to, to the hole. 
but they still get to call their family every day. When I went to the hole in other jails, I also actually did something wrong. But I was, but I also was still able to call my family every day. Where they have me now is a place they call, they like to call behind the glass. They call it that, but I shall call it what it truly is. It is literally a torture chamber. And to be honest, I do not know how this place is legal. So here I sit. No TV privilege, no hour a day of yard time, small room, no bed, no phone privilege. So I said all of this so that everything I say next, you may understand where it is coming from. I have no glass window to really look out of in my room like I did in Barrow, Jackson, or any other jail I have ever been in. So imagine locking yourself in our garage, but much smaller. That's how the torture chamber they have me in looks. They placed me here on purpose. The way, that way they can give a false reason for not letting me call my family. I know for a fact they are trying to poison, they're trying to poison my trays. I ate one tray and fell ill for almost two days straight. So now I am scared to eat the trays and I and I couldn't even call my family to tell you because they aren't letting me use the phone. In 34 days, they only let me use the phone once on 2-23-24. I see their plan clearly. They plan to either kill me and say an inmate did it or it was suicide like they have done many other inmates here or or to poison me if i eat the trays or starve me to death because i cannot all right next page i can uh, i cannot buy myself food to eat because i have no money on my books like i said he does have money on his book but then but then he he they was giving me a hard time. Um, and if you are okay with hearing from me once a month or not hearing from for me for months at a time, then that gives them time to do whatever they want to me. And I'm not saying that you are, but I'm explaining to you the severity of the situation. I love you deeply and the 22 I know loves me deeply will fight day and night for me and would never turn her back on me. She vowed to love me for better or worse. Well, this is worse right now. This letter will be long for, for I have much to say, but you must know what is really going on. That is why I said, I do not know what the ancestors have in store for me. And if you never hear from me again, just know I always loved you and I always will. I always believed in you, and I, I always will. Uh, please tell my mom, my sister, and the university that I love them. Please read this letter to them. My mom, my sister, and the university. He told me to print it out. <laughs> um, then go live on my account. Read it word for word. Tell the PR team thanks for their help and that I love them. Um, tell they had... Ted, I always looked up to them and loved them. Tell mom to tell Bo that I always had love and respect for him. And that he, even though he re recommended me to a lawyer who ran off with 30K, I had forgiven him because I felt like that was the lawyer's doing, not his. As, I, as I'm writing this, I am writing like this because I have never been to a jail where I had to question if I would make it out alive. And it is not the inmates I'm worried about. The few inmates that saw me already knew who I am and they respected me. It's the Hay State Prison Administration that I'm concerned about. And I do not fear death because I am a God. I fully understand that death is not real. But I would be lying to say that these white supremacists do not want to hurt me. 
They already told me this out of their own mouth. And they are showing, showing it through their actions since my arrival. For example, I was thrown in what they call behind the glass. But I call it what it really is, a torture chamber. The moment I got here. Behind the glass is for inmates who have stabbed or killed or hurt other inmates or officers. I have done none of these above. You also need a DR. A DR is a, a disciplinary report. Within 24 hours, 24 to 72 hours with the written allegation of, of your criminal altercation, which justifies them placing placing you here I have no DRs now they can isolate because of my public figure status like they did in Barrow and Jackson but they cannot take my phone rights hour a day outright visitation rights or store rights my second day here January 26 24 Warden Jones calls me to his office. He tells me that because I am a famous person, he knows I will get a cell phone. So I'm somebody that he will be shaken down often. A shakedown is basically like if you were driving down the street and the police pulls you over and search your car. Every time they see you, just because just they know you are famous, that's called harassment. Then I asked to call my family. He denied me. I said, please let me call so they know I am okay. He said, I will let you call next week. Next week came and went. Still no call. Then on February 6th, they pulled me back in the office. Deputy Warden Ella, who is the Deputy Warden of Security, tells me that a lot of people have been calling. Then then he says that the head warden Jones told him to give me a five minute call. That's when they let me call. But they were pissed. Faces were bloodshot red. They did not even want to give me that five minute call. The very next day, internal affairs, the assistant regional directors, and a bunch of other people that ran the Georgian prison system that I do not know came to see me. Warden Ela then told me that your mom and wife have mastered the art of manipulation. They have our bosses coming down here now. That's, that's going to bring more heat on you. That's going to get you hurt or sit, in, sit to high max. High max is for the most violent um, prisoners. Prisoners on high max are there for killing other inmates. It's normally a five year program of 24 hour lockdown. No visits, no phones. So I responded, why are you threatening my life? Or to send me to high max just because my family called to check on me and people are calling to check on me. If you had let me call like I politely asked, this wouldn't be happening. Inmates are allowed to call their family, family daily. It's why they place phones in the jail. My family hasn't heard from me in two weeks. They supposed to call. They were extremely upset that their bosses came down here. Then one of the assistant regional directors walks up to me with a nasty attitude. I can tell she's a house negro, nigga, as he said. Um, very evil spirits were on her. Remember I told you that there is a huge writing on the wall in the torture room I'm in. It says, God hear you, God see you, God got us, keep your head up, when it get hard, call on God, God child, I'm coming home. It was on the wall when I got here. It covers the whole wall. 
And I knew I was, I knew it was a sign from the universe and the ancestors when I first seen it. I have given a, I have given a total of eight years of my life to the criminal justice system. And it, it, and it is not uncommon to see things written on walls in county jails and prisons all over America. But I have never seen anything so powerful, so positive written on a jail wall. But anyway, she asked me, did I write it? I said, no, ma'am. It was here when I got here. Then she going to say, if I give you soap and water, would you wipe it off? Took everything in me not to curse her out because she was trying to disrespect my God hood in front of all these other white men shake my head it be your own people then I responded no ma'am I will not wipe it off because I did not put it there then the head warden Jones gonna say you sure you didn't put it there that's that's kind of your thing isn't it isn't it God talk right I saw the video over 300 K views then started smiling I'm looking at him like this your prison and I know that you know that the writing was on the wall before you put me in here you see what I'm up against here do you see how evil they are true devils in the flesh they literally be ship shifting right in front of me I'm expressing all this to you so you can see where my mindset is at and how it got there. These people who work here, they literally worship Zeus, aka Satan, and they do not and they do not try to hide it. This is why I was sent here. The whole team is in on it. This is the only reason I do not want the family to visit me. I cannot risk it. I want to see my family, but I can't risk it. I'd rather do video visits. It's only 1,100 people in the whole town. The prison also owns the town hospital. So, um, excuse me. This is how they have been getting away with murdering so many inmates because they have the hospital print up fake autopsy reports. The prison also owns the local court and the police station. This is how they avoid legal action against them. They are down here beating inmates, killing them, raping them, manipulating them. They cut off one inmate's finger by slamming it, slamming it in the flap. Not giving inmates grievances so that inmates can legally grieve their issue. For example, I would like to grieve this issue about being in this torture room, but they won't give me one. Stealing inmates' property. For example, I came here with over $100 in food and about $20 in hygiene. I left Jackson with two big bags. I... I came here with they took all my property and haven't given it back but yet they make me spend money to buy items off the store I already came here with then even then even reading outgoing mail which is why I pray you get this letter these people want to kill me and if they have it their way they do not plan on letting me leave this prison alive this prison town is ran by the KKK. They are literally practicing witchcraft. They took my book on E5, but gave me a Bible instead. That's how evil they are. They will not let me practice my religion or spirituality, but they let the Christians and the Catholics and the Muslims practice there. Let them, let them who has eyes see clearly.
um, like I said, I'm going to read where um, it's going to say he don't have money on the books, but he but he does. Um, it says, I, I'm in I'm in tears writing this. Please keep in mind, I've been in this room 34 days with zero communication with you, but one time. All I know is we spoke on 22324 for an hour. And I told you I need money on my um I need money out my bank account on my books. I'm not saying you haven't tried, but please try harder. Call the counselor every day until you're able to put money on my books and visits. Make sure I spelled the address correctly. I know I did the name right. Tell her to read off what I wrote on my end to you from her computer. Hopefully by by time you get this letter, the visits are set up and money is on my books. Because from my end, it's kind of feeling like you may have tried a few times, then gave up. Like I say, I could be wrong, but I'm not able to talk to you. Plus, my conditions have me confused, lost for words, and questioning everything. Look, like I chose you, September um, September 20, 2020 sorry, was one of the greatest months of my life. And 5-14-21 was one of the greatest days of my life. In my eyes, you are my soulmate. I miss your smile, looking into your beautiful soul through those big eyes, eating your tacos, watch, watching your sexy walk as you move through the house. Holding you while you stand on my feet in the kitchen. Us traveling together, laughing at each other, laughing at each other jokes. Watching you play Madden and actually win. Yes. <laughs> LOL. That amazes me every time still to this day. Me locking up the house only to come upstairs and find you fully dressed in lingerie. I was not expecting. Your timing was always impeccable because cause you caught me off guard every time. Or coming upstairs and voila, there you sit, naturally beauty, no makeup needed, just tats piercing and the, and the most radiant smile I ever laid my eyes on with a nice king palm already stuffed. I couldn't help but smile as you sit Indian style on our bed with the rolling tray and lighter in front of you. Even though we would argue and fight sometimes like all couples or all couples or married people do. At the end of the day, we always had each other's back. The disagreement could never outweigh the love I have for you. How grateful I am to have found you again in this life. How much I appreciate you. You're a very, very smart goddess. You barely stand five feet tall, but you have the, sh the strength of a, a hundred feet giant, a hundred foot giant. You supported me and allowed me to lead. And I led us all the way to the Super Bowl, just like I promised I would. You stood by my side through it all. And I love you more with every breath I take, I take for that 22. You always say you love flowers, so I got them for you. Like the bouquet of roses and chocolate and edible arrangements I bought for you from prison on Divine Love Day. But what I'm really trying to get you to see, that you are the true rose, jasmine, and lavender of this thing called life. You are one of the most beautiful flowers in the creation of the Garden of Creation both spiritually and physically. I just hope that I did a great job of showing you that. And I know you are reading this like, does he want me to read all of this as well? LOL. The answer is yes. Read everything word from word. I, I do not know if I will ever hear or see you again. So I promise to pour my whole soul out in this letter. I want you, mom, pops, and the PR team, the university, the haters, Satan, and the fallen to know 
how I feel about everything. Just in case no one ever hears from me again. I am going out the same way I came. A God fearless expressing the truth. Okay, I will use my last sheet to write my mom. I'm going, he's so silly. He does this too. I'm going to ask if you did what I told you to do with this letter. LOL. <laughs> it's imperative yourself and the world hears this entire message. He says, I love the kids, but because of this conviction, I am not able to speak with them. So how can I raise them? myself these questions from my torture room in tears i know you are lonely and every goddess has needs how much longer can you hold off who gonna hold you who's gonna protect you since i'm not there to physically do it i do not want you to have to lie to me because someone else made you smile or caught your eye and you're trying to stay loyal but temptation is hard and you don't want to hurt my feelings, but you need intimacy and physical attention. I'm not able to provide right now. So how long before one day you get tired of waiting? I ask myself these questions from my torture room in tears. On 2-23-24, you said a lot happened in the last month since we spoke, yet you told me a little to nothing. I could sense it's something you wanted to tell me, but didn't. I asked myself, has my soulmate broke her oath to me? I asked myself these questions for my from my torture room in tears. Um, he's right. I did tell him a lot, but he did most of the talking, y'all. So I couldn't even get, I got a couple words in and then he started talking again. But it was not what he think. I'm never going to leave him, never going to cheat on him. Um, but you got to understand where his where his mindset is. Um, I am uh, I am being did the same way they did Jesus. He was wrongly convicted and sentenced to death for spreading truth. And here I sit, Rashad Jamal. Will I make it out of prison alive? Will my wife leave me for someone who is not in jail? Will me and my wife ever have kids? Is Zaza my son? Will I get to finish teaching the planet? Why is the whole world watching our oppress oppressors torture me? Why is no one helping me? How could I give so much to the planet yet receive so little in return? Will I ever see my wife again? Will I ever talk to her on the phone again? Will she get this letter? Will she read it to everyone like I asked her to, if she do? Does her pops know I love him and respect him? Is my purpose done? Will the gods and goddesses use the extraterrestrial wisdom I gave them or will they let it die in vain? How long will they mourn me? Uh, mourn me? Did anyone ever truly divinely love me or was I just used, betrayed, and lied to? I asked myself these questions from my torture room in tears. Sign Rashad Jamal White. So that was the, the letter that he wrote. There are there were some things in there that was personal that I just felt like you know you guys some some we have to keep some things you know to ourselves in our in our personal life but that was majority the the whole letter um he wrote that on the first of March I received it yesterday um I have wrote him back um I think they said it should be there Saturday, so most likely he won't get it by Monday. He won't get it maybe by Monday or Tuesday. I did write him a letter. Oh, he did say 
he did say. What did he say? He did say. He he did let me know that my letter was rejected. Um, hold on. He says, also after we spoke on 2-23-24, later that night, they sent me a paper saying your letter was rejected for having a sexual liquid on it. Which is crazy. I basically put some lipstick on and I kissed kissed the letter. And then I sprayed a little perfume on it. So, I don't understand why they would, um, they would reject my goddamn letter. So, I wrote him a new letter. And, um, this time I made sure I didn't put any, I didn't spray no perfume on it. And I didn't, uh, kiss, you know, kiss the, kiss the letter. Um, that's what I said. How is that sexual? <laughs> like y'all doing that on purpose. Like y'all doing it on purpose. Yeah, this is this is crazy, but but yeah, y'all. That's um that was the letter. I I read it on his page as well. Yeah, they just finding reasons. Um, but it broke my heart when I read it, when I when I read it, y'all. I was in tears. Yep, so now lipstick and perfume is sexual. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, I'm just reading. I'm just reading our comments. Let me um Oh yeah, yeah, I'm definitely um I'm definitely gonna make sure I take care of me. I you know I have the girls as well, our daughters, so I have to be able to take care of myself so I could be able to still take care of them, you know. So I'm definitely um keeping up, you know, my well being. I understand you want to do that but you know we have given out dates and stuff for people to come and support him for court and all that stuff and you only had so many you know little people you know the the only time that he had a lot of people is when he had his bond hearing after that we set up things or people set up things on his behalf and nobody showed up you know so so to be honest i, I don't i don't believe people are going to actually show up you know i'm just being real like that's how i feel about it yeah i honestly don't feel like people are actually going to show up on his behalf so No, that's true. A lot of people cannot communicate. And 
attempt to unify. No, we can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be our own people. You know what I'm saying? Our own people. Man, so many people on this on this social media stuff are so fake. It's not even funny. Like I said, we've, we've given out dates for people to come and show up and no one, you know what I'm saying? Only like a handful. So it is, you know, we can't force anybody. Like I said, let everybody, um, everybody just continue to um, meditate on his behalf, pray, what you know, whatever you believe in, you know, um, always send out good energy. Um, that's what I'm doing myself, you know. Um. But yeah, definitely, he will be home. No, definitely, we still got the appeal. Um, the appeal is this summer. Definitely high frequency. <laughs> but yeah, I'm good. Uh, yes, y'all can come to appeal once we get the, the court date. The actual court date. They gave us a court date, but the um, they gave the lawyers a court date already, but... Um, the county has not given them the, the official paperwork of that court date. Thank you. You know what? That's so funny because when he was like, I'm nothing but five feet tall, which I'm not. I'm, I'm like four, four, eleven, five at the most. Right. And he was like, my strength is. Sorry. He says my strength, the strength of my, the, my strength is 100 feet uh, giant. <laughs> Yeah, I believe on on a good day I'm five feet. On a bad day I'm like four eleven. <laughs> yeah, on a good day. Uh -huh. Yeah, overall, the letter was definitely beautiful. I mean, definitely beautiful, you know. It was beautiful. And, like, I was crying and laughing, you know, at, mo at moments. Yes, it's a lot, a lot. Who are you selling? She's very strong. I love to see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yes, I mean I've been through I've been through a lot myself. So and and I've always made it through, you know. So I'm like, bring it on, bring it on, cause I'm I'm a I'm a get through this, you know. I'm a um succeed. I'm a pass my test. <laughs> so. I have been I have been setting up videos. Um, I've been setting up uh, video visits, um, and the reason why they have been denying my um, video visits, like he said, they deny his visitation, um, is because they have him behind that glass wall. Um, so I'm not able to visit him um, through the video visits nor in person until he is moved. From behind the glass wall. And they told me they do have a phone in the area he's in, but it gets passed around. So most likely he won't get the phone, but maybe once a week, or it could be two two weeks at the um two to three weeks before he gets the phone again. Y'all keep saying y'all want to go up there. I guarantee you everybody who's saying that is not going to do that. So I would I would appreciate if you do not comment about going up there. I just don't believe it, y'all. I just don't have faith in y'all to actually do something like that. So please stop saying that. Because y'all ain't really about that life. Okay, well, if you mean it, you could have been, you could have been up there. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could have been, got your people and, and go up there. You know what I'm saying? You don't need me. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to have to be there. You know what I'm saying? If you really, if you, cause you got the address. Y'all got the address. The address is all over, all over the platforms. So, what, what is stopping you? You know what I'm saying? If you want to do that, go right ahead. Now, I'm not stopping you. You shouldn't have to wait on me. You know, so if you're going to do that, do that. Then you have the address. <laughs> right. Slide then. <laughs> pull up. You want to pull up? Pull up. Ain't nobody stopping you. Pull up then. <laughs> you don't need to do that with me. Go pull up. You could do that on your own with your people. Why don't you grab? You gonna pull up? You gonna pull up regardless? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If you want to pull up, go ahead. Ain't nobody stopping you for pulling up. I said that Rashad came out of her. Right. Wait. <laughs> pull up then. What you waiting on? You ain't got to wait on me. <laughs> you want to pull up? Go ahead. Get your posse. What they call your posse? Go get your posse and take you and your posse and go pull up. If that's what you want to do. <laughs> Y'all got to understand, they watch everything. Did you hear me read in the letter that the warden watched his God Talk video? He said it was 300K views. So, y'all, come on now. Come on. Let's, what, you know what? As they all say, they say common, what do you say? Um, common sense ain't common. Okay? Common sense ain't common. We, we, 
like we finna t- tell them what we gonna do. We just giving them all the info. What we gonna like? Come on now. Like they said, common sense ain't common. <laughs> Y'all funny. <laughs> Y'all funny. Y'all hilarious. <laughs> What they say, you think before you speak, think before you you don't you know, move anything. Yeah, they've been watching. Like I said, the warden, he, the warden, he even said the warden said that he watched the God, God Talk video and it was at 300K, you know, so, so yeah. And then, you know what the funny part was when he was like, when the warden told him he could have that five minute call, he's, did y'all hear that he said they were bloodshot red? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they was. You know how when they get angry, they get, they get bloodshot red? They was definitely scared. They definitely was shiv. What they say, shivering in your boots? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the letter. I mean, at, at, the letter was beautiful. You know, um, of course, I didn't. You know, you know, I, I don't. You know, <sighs> like some of the things that. Um, that I heard, you know, read in that letter. And did y'all hear, y'all heard about the, the damn inmate getting his fingers, um, his finger got cut off. It was because it was being slammed inside the flab, y'all. Like, golly. That, that broke my heart. I was like, wow. They cut off the inmate's finger. Like, that's not even necessary. They already got their freedom taken away from them. Like, God damn. I don't care what anybody did. I don't think no one's supposed to get treated like that. I just don't. I don't care what you did, if you did it, if you did not do it. No one should be getting treated like that. I'm sorry. P- no. Period. So when he told me that, I was like, "Ooh, damn. So just imagine if they're doing another inmate like that, just imagine what they thinking about. Well, we know he's not going to be touched, but just, just, just think about this. Just think about it. Like they cutting off other, trying to cut off other people and then not giving grievances so they cannot um, get attacked legally. But, you know, they definitely, definitely going to be falling and they definitely going to be dealt with. You know, karma is real. So all the things that they even thought about doing to my husband, doing to my husband is it, definitely going to return back to them. Yeah. All right. Everything is on the platform. All the numbers are on the platform. But yeah, I definitely wanted to, um, said he wanted me to read the letter. <laughs> um, so I read it on his platform and then I did read it on my platform. Um, you know, he just wanted everybody to be aware and know and know what's going on. Um, Yeah, Michael Jackson did. Yeah, he he made a whole song talking about they don't care about us. They don't. You know, they don't.
but I know I got the letter. I did write him back. So I know I know he's 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 definitely going to be be fine. He's definitely coming home, you know. So, you know, I, I you know, I'm not worried at all, you know. Um I'm in good spirits. Um like I said, I wrote him back and I made sure that I, I, I um, reassured him <laughs> definitely um, and let him know that, you know, his, his supporters are out here. Because one thing I can say is that you guys calling up there, emailing and all that definitely did help. Um, it definitely did help. So I don't want you guys to think that the things that you guys have been doing and assisting and supporting hasn't um worked but it but it but it has had some improvement yes definitely um like i said they were mad their bosses their bosses came down their bosses bosses came down there good 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 that's great thank you for writing those affirmations yes that's another way to it's continue to manifest for them to come home yeah, we blew, yes, y'all blew, y'all blew those phones up. And they didn't have no choice but to let him call, at least for that five minutes. Yep. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. When you do come together, you know, things can can, can happen. But once again, it's easy to pick up the phone and make a phone call. So I would say continue to do that. I will say continue to um, call up there. Um, I will um, say continue to email the um, the commissioner. Get on their nerves. I don't care. Get on their nerves. No, he going to get that appeal. He going to get a, a, a retrial. No, he's definitely going to get that. I feel that in my soul. He's definitely going to get that granted. I already put it out there in the universe and, and manifesting it. He's definitely going to get that appeal granted and we're going to have a, a retrial. I don't know who supplies the food in, at the jail. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not aware of that. It's this summer. It's this summer. We do have a court date. The lawyers do have a court date. They just have not gotten official um, paperwork um, sent to them from Barrow County stating that the court date is the same day as they gave the lawyers. But we do have a court date for the appeal this summer. Yep, they did all this with no evidence. That is correct. We we all know this was nothing about a sex case. This had everything to do with what he was exposing. Let's be real. The transcripts, uh, they're going to run you probably three, three, maybe three, 3,000, I think. All right, well, my time is running out, y'all. Um, peace to everybody. Um, that is the update. I'm pretty sure um, you could go back and um, listen to um, me reading the letter because I'm pretty sure someone was screen recorded and it's on um, all social media platforms. What he did ask for it to be on. Yeah, they, they're clicking me down. But yeah, I just he wanted me to um, read the letter to you guys. You know, I do what my husband asked me to do. <laughs> um, so he wanted everyone to know about um, the letter that he did uh, did write me. All 
All right. They clicking me down. Peace to everyone. Appreciate um, all the support. Um, I, I love y'all deeply. My husband love y'all deeply. Um, and peace to everybody. Peace and blessings. All right, I'm out. Love.